Without fail, anytime I'm having a conversation in a group of people about electric vehicles, somebody's going to state with full confidence that lithium batteries are dangerous and they will kill us all with fire. They seem to be pretty mad about it too. Yet these are the same people that think nothing of keeping a cell phone with a lithium battery in their back pocket, a watch with a lithium battery on their wrist, or a key fob with a lithium battery in their pocket right next to their junk. If lithium batteries are so prone to explosion and fire, why on earth would you keep one inches from your fun bits? Lithium battery fires have famously made the news for events like modified vapes exploding in people's pockets. Hoverboards are still being blamed for setting house fires. How can anyone forget the whole Samsung Galaxy Note 7 fiasco? Even then, 2.5 million Note 7s were in the hands of consumers by the time of the recall. By the end of the recall, only 92 battery fires had been reported out of 2.5 million phones. Why did Samsung then spend an estimated $2 billion on a recall? Because even though that sounds like a small number, that is a huge number for what is otherwise an extremely safe technology. How safe are lithium batteries? You probably have dozens, if not hundreds of them in your home right now. You probably come into contact with hundreds if not thousands of them every day. People put them in their ears, they're in your power tools, in your cameras, in your tablets and laptops. They power my daughter's insulin pump and continuous glucose monitor. If you're like me, you also have power packs to keep your other lithium batteries going through a long day. Lithium batteries are everywhere, all around us, 24-7, 365. I've never seen a lithium battery simply catch fire, nor has anybody that I've asked. However, it is true that when one does catch fire, it's usually a pretty spectacular reaction known as thermal runaway, whereby a cell will short out, which will increase its temperature, which will increase its rate of discharge, which will then increase its temperature, which will then increase the temperature of the cells next to it, which will then increase their rates of discharge, which will then increase their temperature, and so on and so on. In a small battery, this seems to happen really fast because it's generally made up of only one cell. A Tesla battery is made up of thousands of cells with a lot of protection between the battery pack and the passengers. Each individual cell is monitored for voltage and temperature by a computer whose sole job is to protect the battery and the passengers in the car. Comparing the battery in a vape to the battery in a Tesla is like comparing the crappy motor on a Chinese made weed whacker you bought on eBay to the motor in an American made pickup. Sure, they both operate on similar principles, but nobody expects a modern American pickup to run like an eBay weed whacker. Speaking of vehicles that run on petroleum products, gas and diesel vehicles force you to carry around tens of gallons of flammable liquid in a tank that usually sits right behind the passengers. It's shot from the back of the car to the front of the car through a fuel line under pressure, where it's then exploded in a motor in the front. Yes, gas and diesel are used as fuel specifically because they explode when ignited. Yet this doesn't seem to bother the wait until your Tesla battery gets wet crowd. According to a study published by the National Fire Protection Association, fire departments respond to an average of 287,000 vehicle fires in the U.S. every year. That's nearly 790 vehicle fires every day. Nearly 500 Americans are killed and another 1,500 injured every year. While some of those vehicle fires certainly make the news, the vast majority of them don't even show up in the local news because they're so common. They're just not news. Unless, of course, they cause a traffic problem, and then it's the traffic problem that becomes the news and not the fire itself. Every single Tesla that has ever caught fire has made national news. Why? Because it confirms a bias that many people have about electric vehicles, and ironically, because they are so rare, when a Tesla catches fire, it is news. In the past 12 months, only five Teslas have caught fire worldwide. Two of those occurred when a car hit a barrier at over 90 miles per hour. Yes, each of those events was terrible for the people involved, but over 50,000 other terrible events occurred when gas and diesel vehicles caught fire in the US for each one of those Tesla fires. I'm gonna say that again. Over 50,000 gas and diesel vehicles caught fire in the U.S. 
for every Tesla that caught fire in the past 12 months in the entire world. Sure, there are a lot more gas and diesel vehicles on the market than there are Teslas, but when you calculate out the probability of having a fire, I think the answer might surprise you. Teslas experience five fires for every billion miles driven. Gas and diesel vehicles experience 55 fires for every billion miles driven. You are 11 times more likely to experience a fire in a gas or diesel vehicle than in a Tesla. You are 11 times more likely to experience a liquid fuel fire than a battery fire in a vehicle. When I say it that way, it really shouldn't be that surprising. Even then, a Tesla battery fire is a very different experience than a liquid fuel fire. Though thermal runaway can result in a very intense fire that's tough to extinguish, it usually takes time for the handful of damaged cells to heat up enough undamaged cells to where the entire battery pack is involved in a fire. This means that usually in Tesla battery fires, the passengers have exited the vehicle before there's a big problem. In fact, whether or not anyone's actually been killed by a Tesla battery fire is an understandably controversial subject because the small number of cases where someone has not been able to escape before the battery fire consumed the vehicle all involved collisions that were questionably survivable in the first place. Meanwhile, nearly two people are burned alive in gas or diesel vehicle fires every day. It's a sobering thought, one that supports the idea that batteries are safer than flammable liquid for powering passenger vehicles. One important note to leave you with, the Model 3 has a completely different battery pack than you're gonna find in a Model S, the Model X, or any other electric vehicle in the world. One that has extra protection against thermal runaway spreading from damaged cells to undamaged cells. With several hundred thousand of these on the road at this point, many of them have actually experienced some pretty horrific crashes. To date, not a single Model 3 has been consumed by a battery fire of any kind, none. Should I be worried that my Model 3 is gonna kill me with fire like I'm constantly warned? No way. And nobody who isn't afraid of their gas car catching fire should worry about it either. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla, they've got a really cool referral program. You can use my code Cameron16116 when you place your order and that'll get us both free supercharging. I really appreciate you watching the Tech of Tech and I hope to see you next time.